Rose, and I can guarantee you that. We are um, we are always glad to uh, bring in some uh, guests into our radio show and glad to do so this evening. And uh, joining us on the phone is Wayne Thompson, who is running for Fort Bend County Precinct 3 Constable. And Wayne, thanks very much for calling, and we appreciate you being part of the show this evening. Thank you so much for having me, having me, and uh, God bless you for what you're doing, and, and God bless our veterans and, and our service members and their spouses for what they do for us as well. Thanks for having me. Amen to that. Now, uh, just real quickly, what are you having for dinner tonight? You know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Um, you know, now that you mention it, I think I'm going to have to... Uh, to figure that out after this show, but uh, it's been a full day for us. My uh, my daughter was baptized today, and we've had food and festivities all day. So ah, uh, very good. You can't buy that at Walmart, brother. It's it's that's uh, good. Humbling, and and yeah. I am uh, very moved, of course, as a parent to have a six year old who gets it, and she gets it better than many of our politicians and. And other so called well, leaders. Well, that's setting this bar pretty low. <laughs> I mean, not to, you know, I don't want to disparage anything you're saying, but that's setting the bar pretty low if we're going to talk about politicians. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, so tell us a little about, about Wayne Thompson. Uh, you grew up in the area? I did, yes, sir. I, I live in uh, Fort Bend County, Texas, Precinct 3, which covers uh, cities of Simonton, Fulcher, Katy. And, and several other unincorporated areas. I've been a career public servant, uh, 23 years between military, firefighting, uh, EMS, and law enforcement. I'm currently full-time in law enforcement and uh, was a two-term Republican elected precinct chair and uh, ran for constable in 2012, but uh, I suffered the consequences of the census and then some district lines were re- redrawn, and I was booted out of my precinct that I've been campaigning for for years. So I've since moved back into Precinct 3 and uh, been blessed to have a very uh, popular, fortunate uh, campaign and, and over 13 radio shows and national podcast and two national cable news shows. So I, I, I'm just very blessed by that. Well, you know the only one that matters is this one. I'm on it now. so You're, you're, gonna, did, you're here, man. <laughs> You know, I, I, you got to save the best for last, That's as they say. So. something kind of how that works, but yeah, awesome. Um, all right, so let's go back to how many years uh, in the military service? Well, I spent a total of uh, 12 years, not consecutive, between the mm-hmm. Texas Army National Guard, mm-hmm. and then after that I uh, transferred over to the Texas State Guard. And, of course, Texas military forces is comprised of the Army National Guard, Air National Guard, and, and State Guard. So mm-hmm. uh, total time there was uh, 12 years, and I, I joined on my 17th birthday in 1992 and uh, joined as a combat medic. Um, and then uh, that's right after I got done with that training, I went through fire academy and civilian paramedic school and then later on uh, police academy. Okay, so you're 17, you decide to sign up for that. What what? What was your motivating factor? What, what caused you to do that? Well, I, I, I've really always considered myself a servant, and of course there's uh, no better way to serve than, than the military. Now, there, there are other ways to serve, but I consider that just one of the most uh, um, humbling and, and best ways to serve. And I had spent uh, some time at Marine Military Academy in Harlingen, Texas, during my middle school years, and then I had three years of Navy JROTC at Clements High School, and then I was chosen to be the first uh, Air Force JROTC Cadet Corps Commander at Kempner High School. It was a brand new unit, and I was chosen out of the field of every uh, senior ROTC cadet to, to be the first commander, so I transferred okay, over. Okay, hey, hey, one, one second. We're going to have to run to break. When we come back, we'll follow up on that okay. and then talk about your uh, law enforcement years and why you're running for office. This is the Warrior Shield Radio. We'll be back with more in just a moment. There's nothing left to pack She throws that rucksack on her back As she waves goodbye Well, we are... Uh, Coming up on Christmas season, getting all your holiday shopping done. Um, I, I would just say very quickly, 
If you are looking for a uh, charity, nonprofit cause to support with some end of the year funds, maybe you got a bonus coming or something, and you're looking for a place that uh, you'd like to donate to, I would encourage you to pick, check out PTSD Foundation of America, serving veterans and their families that are struggling with post-traumatic stress. PTSDUSA.org is the website. That's PTSDUSA.org. There's um, very, very little overhead. Uh, you donate, the money goes directly to saving veterans' lives. So I encourage you to check that out, PTSDUSA.org. We're talking with Wayne Thompson, who is uh, running for uh, Precinct 3 Constable in Fort Bend, which is neighboring to Harris County here. Harris County, uh, where Houston, Texas is, for those of you listening outside of the Houston area. Uh, you were talking a little bit about uh, your uh, veteran service, uh, yes, JROTC, because we're just time constrained. I, this thing about radio, the clock just keeps moving, and I can't slow it down. Let's talk about your law enforcement. How long have you been in law enforcement, and uh, what caused you to move into that field? Well, uh, I'm entering my 14th year in law enforcement. Uh, again, I, I entered that field uh, for the same reasons as the military and, and firefighting and EMS. Uh, of course, there is an element that is uh, exciting, and, and uh, there's that part of it. But uh, I consider myself a servant and a, a servant leader, and I've always wanted to help people in one form or another. And I felt like it was a natural uh, extension of my military service and, and other service to the community. And, you know, what better way to, to help people than, than when they're needing you most? You know, I, I tell folks that, you know, when they call 911, we never get a 911 call to tell us that somebody's having a great day and come by and say hi. You know, it's always when they are probably at their worst or experiencing a tragic event. And I've always wanted to be the person to be able to help people through that. So choosing to run for office, that takes it to a whole different <laughs> level. What's going on in the county? What's, what's spurring you into this? Well, uh, Fort Bend County, and particularly Precinct 3, is one of the fastest areas, uh, fastest growing areas. Uh, Fort Bend is, is, is growing at a rapid rate, and then Precinct 3, which is Katy, Fulcher, and those areas are where people are moving to. And uh, I've seen a stagnant uh, administration at the current constable's office. Uh, most people aren't aware, but Texas requires an elected sheriff and constable, and and they are one of two law enforcement agencies that, that the law requires uh, there to be. And so people need to be aware that the constable is your elected law enforcement official. And uh, the current incumbent has been there 27 years, and I, I don't believe in uh, a politician holding an office, the same office, for that long. And they have a high employee turnover, very low morale, and, and there's no working relationship with other police agencies. And that just can't be in this day and age. I mean, with all the things we're facing, terrorism, crime, uh, an influx of people, both legal and illegal, to the area, uh, you just can't have somebody that's done it the same way for 27 years. And um, so what made me want to run for that office? Because I want to make it right. I want to make it a department, an agency that is uh, accountable to the people, uh, where I'm approachable, and that I remain active in the community and not just disappear after election time. Okay, so you're elected. You are uh, in office. What are your first couple of initiatives to make things change? That's a great question. You know, right away, there's a couple things that need to happen. Number one, you should at least office, say thank you. Me. I just got you elected. I think, I think you did a great job. We're going to have to go for lunch here. <laughs> um, you, you know, one of the first things that, that has to be done is uh, I have to almost simultaneously sit down with all the other elected and appointed law enforcement leaders and, and uh, chief executives in Fort Bend County, school districts, uh, cities and uh, the county law enforcement and other constables to repair a broken working relationship. And almost simultaneously, I, I have to sit down with each and every employee of the constable's office in Precinct 3 
and make sure that they know that I support them fully and give them every possible uh, tool, every, every training that is available, and every opportunity to be the best law enforcement agency in Fort Bend County and to be able to carry out their job safely and efficiently and, and keep the citizens safe. That, that has to happen all, almost day one, both of those. And then there's many more after that. Okay. Um, what's, the, uh, what's the pay like for uh, one of the constables compared to other law enforcement agencies in the Houston area? Well, um, for the constables' deputies in Fort Bend, unfortunately, Fort Bend County has not uh, really gotten up to to the level of Harris County and, and some of the other surrounding cities. Uh, a starting deputy with no experience is probably going to be somewhere around thirty two to thirty five thousand dollars a year, which is not an awful lot, especially in in the area. That sure. We live in. So, uh, you know, that takes. Uh, unfortunately, as constable, I don't have control of their pay. That that right. takes working with the right. county commissioners to get that done. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, we are about out of time. So just real quickly, uh, folks that want more information about uh, your campaign, that want more information how they can get involved, whether it's writing a check or volunteering or w- whatever it may be, how do they get in contact with you? The best way is going to be visit the website at www.votewayne thompson.com and from there you can contact me i'm the only ele- or candidate that gives his personal cell phone number out so you can call me email me or uh, visit any one of the social media twitter facebook etc and get a hold of me that way all right very good you're married you have at least one child any other children i do i have a, a young daughter and an older daughter and i and i am married and uh um i uh I don't put out a whole lot of personal information. No, 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 that's but, fine. You know, as a elected person, that that happens. So. Yeah. Well, my best to you, your family. Uh, good luck to you. Thank and, you. And uh, call back in. Uh, let us know how things go. Thank you. So Appreciate much you for being with us, Wayne. Show. Yeah. God bless you, Wayne Thompson, uh, running for precinct three constable Thank office. Uh, so glad to have you with us. This is Warrior Shield Radio. We'll be back with more. God.